Hi there foodies, welcome back. Today we're making some delicious grilled mango fire chicken. The sauce is amazing. It has a little kick to it because we're using some pepper and ginger and it's a little sweet and tart as well. Let's get into it. So what we'll do guys is season the chicken. Let's make a little marinade with olive oil, coriander powder, some ginger powder. I'll go in with some onion powder as well. Then some garlic powder. These two always go together. A little turmeric for color and flavor. And then some freshly ground pepper. I'll also go in with some green seasoning. This is a blend of herbs and, you know, aromatics. We love to use this in the Caribbean. The details are below in the description box. This is some ginger paste and garlic paste. You can always mince your fresh ginger and garlic. And some soy sauce, of course. If you're using low sodium soy sauce, make sure you include some salt here. Okay? And just whisk everything together. So I got these butterfly boneless chicken breasts from the supermarket. So they are cut in half. And so I have four pieces here. If you don't get that at the supermarket, then you can just buy a boneless breast and, you know, butterfly them, cut them in half. So you get four pieces that are a little thinner and they'll cook quicker. So just rub this into the chicken and marinate overnight, ideally. So the next day you'll have your oil in a pan over medium heat, add your minced garlic and ginger, add the chopped scallions and just after maybe 15 seconds then we will go in and add the mango juice. Try to find the richest mango juice you can, thick is best. If you can't find that then of course you can always get fresh mangoes and dice them, puree them with a little water. We just want it to be really rich and flavorful. So still over medium heat, we are going to go in with some soy sauce, some brown sugar, and some turmeric for color and a little flavor. We'll also add some scotch bonnet pepper. So this is just finely minced. Everybody's tolerance is different. All right, so add more or less. And then that was rice vinegar I just added. And then I'm going in with some chili paste. This is like a Jamaican Asian fusion, you know. I got the scotch bonnet, the green seasoning, the chili paste. Everything works so well together. So give this a stir. I'll add some chili flakes. Guys, remember this is mango fire chicken, okay. We need that kick of heat. So add some chili flakes. And what I like to do... Is I like to taste to see if I need more pepper. I'm also going to go ahead and add some Caribbean pepper sauce. I love this pepper sauce. It is not like the Louisiana sauce or like, you know, the usual cayenne based sauce. This has scotch bonnet and all those nice Caribbean peppers in there. And so we'll add that. And of course, give it a taste, guys. You might want more pepper, okay? I'll add a slurry just a little bit at a time. We just want to, you know, thicken this. And once it's nice and thick enough, don't add any more of that slurry, all right? So we're using a grill cast iron pan today, guys. I have it greased and we're just going to lay the chicken breasts on there. You can do all four if you have a really big grill pan or you're doing this on a grill. I'm just going to do two at a time. And what we're going to do is flip these over after two to three minutes and then brush on the sauce. And as the chicken breasts cook on the grill pan, just keep brushing generously with the sauce. Now remember guys, I am using butterfly chicken breasts, so they're thinner. If you're using a whole boneless breast, then you'll need to cook for longer than I did.
Now, depending on how thin your butterfly chicken breasts were, you might need four minutes or six minutes total. But once that time is up, you can brush on even more sauce before service. And also, I like to go in with some fresh basil or cilantro or parsley all over. And it just gives that beautiful color and additional flavor as well. But that's it. Really simple. I like to have it with some vegetables or some plain rice this time i had it with some bok choy and some coconut scented rice so flavorful so give it a try and let me know what you think guys it is absolutely delicious so go try the recipe and let me know how it works out for you see you next time